Are you feeling sultry? It's Saturday, folks. Sultry Saturday. What does that even mean, by the way? Sultry. Like, what is the actual definition? Very hot and humid, sweltering, a sultry day. It certainly is, isn't it? That's what I'm feeling. I have a moist undercarriage for today's video. Let's just say that. We got an absolute heater for you today. Will the truth destroy these couples? Lie detector test. With my boy, Katakahashi, and there's a shirtless guy in the thumbnail. <laughs> That's how you fucking know it's gonna be good. And it's 54 minutes extra sultry for your Saturday afternoon. Let's enjoy it together. Why do we lie? To shield our loved ones from the truth? I mean, with the thumb, the thumb press, the fit, and just that turn, why do we lie? Just dropping that fucking question, the deepest question of all time on us like that cop? Holy shit, we're not even, we have 54 minutes left. And you're gonna just drop that on us right there? Already starting with a thinker, eh? Why do we lie? I, gee, I don't know. To safeguard ourselves? Today on the hot seat, we're testing the honesty of three couples using a lie detector. They'll undergo two rounds of interrogation. First, by me, then by each other. Did you cheat on me when you went to Italy? No, I did not cheat on you. What do you think it is, huh? True. Do you believe yourself? Let's find out what these couples are hiding and uncover the hidden truth. So this is basically like moment of truth, but Jubilee style. And guess what? I'm friends with the hosts of both of those shows. <laughs> I'm collecting TV show hosts like they're Pokemon people. Within their lives. I'm Kot Takahashi, and you're watching The Hot Seat. Go on your arm. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, for some reason my heart's like. <laughs> I see that. Okie doke. Oh, she's no bullshit too. Her. I see that. That is literally what's happening. I see it right now on my screen. I have a reading of that. This is no laughing matter, actually. Analyze all of it. I'm definitely nervous. <laughs> Are you ready to start the test? Yeah. Okay. Have you thought about breaking up with your partner recently? Yes. Do you think your partner has cheated or been unfaithful in any way? Yes. Are you hiding anything from your partner? No. I just asked you all the same 10 questions. It's time for us to find- This is gonna be good. Already, I'm, I'm hooked. Sorry, sorry for yelling. Find out if you were telling the truth or if you were lying. Let's begin. The first question I asked. Why is this dude shirtless? <laughs> Why? Do you think the, the audio guy was like, all right, well, we gotta put a mic on you, so do, do you mind putting a shirt on? He's like, no. Okay, I guess we'll tape it to your pec then. <laughs> Why, are you, Why are you shirtless? What is the reasoning behind being shirtless? You, was is your partner the best you've ever had in bed? Jesse, you answered, no. And this was the truth. Cassidy. <laughs> Sorry. I, I mean, if this is just, is this just strictly to break these people up? Because that's, we're starting off hot as hell. What a sultry ass question to ask. What a humid ass question to ask first. You answered yes. And this was a lie. What's up, baby? Did he not realize what just happened there? Is your partner the best you've ever had in bed? No, that was a lie. Okay, I see what happened. So that, that's why he's like, you know I'll lay it down. You know I'll lay that shit down. That's what's up. Couldn't even lie about it. <laughs> I know I lay it down, but goddamn. Lay this question. Vanessa, you answered. Yes. And this was the truth. Oh. <laughs> Drew, you answered. Oh, uh, yes. And this was the truth. <gasps> oh, yeah, yay! <laughs> Chloe. I love his reaction. Let's fucking go! Yes! Cool, cool, yeah, cool. Answered. Yes. And this was a lie. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Ren, you answered. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and this was the truth. Yes. <laughs> Drew and Vanessa, you both said yes, and you were both honest. Yeah. So that's yes. pretty good. Let's yeah. go, yeah. We know what we, what we like, so mm -hmm. I guess it's each other. Yeah. <laughs> Jesse, Cassidy was not the best you've ever had in bed. Correct. Why? Um, 
I mean, because I've been with like over a thousand women and like the competition's a little rough and I'm a fucking freak. If what's not being met that I need down there is not all the time and on a crazy level, it's hard for someone to take that spot. Is there one specific person? I used to have this married lady out in Boca, this, this couple that let me sleep with his wife whenever I wanted and they were a lot of fun, yeah. What, what the, what? What, what? Damn, I feel like we need some like context or something around all that, like, look, like, even Cot's like, hmm, interesting. What? <laughs> We just got a lot there all of a sudden just thrown at us thousand women fucking married couples it's So funny that he has that married woman. She's on the throne of like sexual Experiences for him. He just it was like a reflex. Oh, uh, yeah, I know who it is. Trust me. It's Kathy Boca Raton huh. 55 years old and an absolute freak mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? I feel like I kind of knew that there's been experiences in his life that I have not encountered. Well, Cassidy, you said yes, but you lied. Why did you yeah. lie? Honestly, Tell the truth. I am. I don't. <laughs> we do a lot of like couple play, so I'm sure other people have pleased me more and differently in different mm. aspects. Ren, you said yes, absolutely. <laughs> he did the little puppy. He did a little puppy dog lip there. He went. Mm. Mm. That's not what. Beefcake wants to hear. Absolutely, that was true. But Chloe, you said yes, but lied. Why did you lie? I, I have no idea why it showed up like that. Like, I haven't had good sex before her, so. <laughs> like, at all. <laughs> like, we've explored the most out of anyone I've been with. I have the most fun with her. Do you believe me? I believe you. You, know, you believe her you even though the story? expert polygraph examiner got <laughs> that it was a lie. I don't think polygraphs are like scientifically accurate. Caught! Sorry, me and Caught are beefing. I believe you over everything, but I also do feel like maybe there was people that were better and more confident than I am. No one I thought about. I've told her all my sex stories and none of them were good. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to the next question. The next question I asked you all was, do you want to spend the rest of your life together? Jesse, when I asked you, you said, Yes. However, it was a lie. <laughs> Cassidy, when I asked you, you said, Yes. It was the truth. Vanessa, when I asked you, you said, Yes. It was the truth. Drew, when I asked you, you said, uh, yes. Don't say, uh, yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> Cot should have said that. He should have said, Jesse, you said, uh, yes. <laughs> Expose him. She's like, what? You said, uh? You said, uh, before? It was the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, when I asked you, you said, yes. And it came out true. Told you guys. <laughs> Ren, you said yes as well, and it was also true. Yeah. A lot of love oh, going on here. One. A lot of love going on, except for his, the shirtless guy. <laughs> He's still got that married chick on his mind. That's what it is. I want to spend the rest of my life with her. I'd love to get married to her. Oh, wait, fuck. <laughs> Jesse, you lied. So we live a crazy fucking lifestyle, and I never know where our life's gonna go. I never know if she's gonna wind up liking someone more or not, because we're in the adult film industry and we do a lot of stuff, but on our private life, we have a lot of fun too. We're a viral social. Uh, that, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. The thousand women thing's making sense now. Social media couple, so uh, a lot of crazy stuff comes our way that, you know, gets in the way of our happiness. Cassidy, how do you feel hearing that it's not? True. He doesn't feel the same. I think it comes down to knowing all the fun that we've had with everybody else. Mm. So I have to think on that. He's got some thinking to do? Yeah. Don't think too hard about it. Don't think too hard about it. No. Why? Because I put my life, I put, I put everything on the line to be with this girl right here. And I've showed that through many ways, through social media, through personal actions. This is the one I want to be with, so. She knows what's up. She knows what time it is. It's 4.03. <laughs>
are they a viral social media couple? What does that even mean, viral social media couple? Jacked like Jess. Fitted up. Why didn't he wear this? Dripped down to the gills. I mean, I guess that's why he's shirtless, because his name is Jacked like Jess. You gotta walk the talk. Next question I asked you all was, do you think your partner has cheated or been unfaithful in any way? Ooh. Vanessa, you said no. And it was the truth. I trust you. Good. <laughs> Drew, you also said no. However, it was the truth as well. No, okay, <laughs> like, <laughs> Jesse. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You said yes. And this was the truth. Yeah, I'm confident. <laughs> Cassidy, you also said yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the truth. Cut throat. Chloe, you said. Do you think your partner has cheated or been unfaithful in any way? They were both pretty stoked about the fact that, I mean, they're, I guess they're, they're porn stars then. What is cheating then? I don't really know. Yes. Yeah. And we picked up the truth. Mm. Ren, you said no. No. We picked up a lie. Oh, oh tables have Ren, turned. Why did you lie? Ooh. I don't want to think that you ever did, and I don't have a time that I think you ever did. I know you to be an honest and loyal person, um, but the thought of that ever happening scares the living fuck out of me. Is there a specific time or specific person that you? No, she has a few. Oh. She has a few. Well, okay, yeah. <laughs> there's been there's been people that I've gotten like way too jealous over yeah but you know after time has passed like i don't i don't think that you actually ever did anything with them yeah but well, they did you, make me nervous yeah i see why it showed up like that yeah jesse cassidy you both say yes and it was the truth there's still been some uncertainty with different encounters we'll have to figure that out. i mean yeah there's times like you know where she don't come home you know what i mean because we have a life like that so. well there's been times both of yeah like, you've been out for like three days yeah i've been out i've been out just you know when i saw phone yeah. three days <laughs> three days three days <laughs> oh man three days that's a little bit long how do you not come home for three days in the <laughs> The other person doesn't. That's a lifestyle. I don't even. I don't even know the first thing about this lifestyle. We still love each other. We're still attracted to each other. We just tend to cheat on each other in a kink type of way. In a kink. Yeah. It doesn't kink bother you. Nor always involved some way through dirty text messages, yeah. FaceTimes, or something like that. Screenshots, pictures. And is it the same for you? Yeah. yeah. She lets me go and have my playtime. So are you guys cuck? <laughs> well, he's the cuck. Yeah. I watch her get. F mm -hmm. But I'll also join in too because yeah. I'm dominant as. So I'm a very type of diverse man. <laughs> oh my god, I'm I'm so fucking entertained right now. I'm so entertained. I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck is going on right now. Fuck yeah, I'm a cuck, but I'm a dominant cuck. Is that a thing? I'm genuinely asking. I don't know. Also, the the cheating as a kink is also kind of throwing me for a loop there. <laughs> I feel like they could have gave that context first before the three days thing. I didn't realize it was like something that they like did on purpose so that the other one would get off. I, this is wild. Yeah. Only a real man could watch their lady be pleasured. That takes a lot of composure. Drew, what do you think about that? That's actually the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> like just straight up. Why do you say that? Like that makes no sense to me like at all. Like. Why would you want that? Because I'm confident with her and I love her. I, love I know you're confident. Pleasure. You got no shirt on. Like, you're the guy that doesn't have one. But hey, I appreciate, like, hey, like, good on you. Damn, he's kind of roasting him. Holy shit. Dude's kind of going in. I don't think Jacked by Jess is really taking this very well. Yeah, I appreciate that. So, like, uh, that's your, your thing. You can keep with that, but. Yeah, yeah. Do you think it shows a lack of confidence if you're not willing to see Absolutely your partner not. get. I don't no. want to be with anyone else, though. Yeah, it depends really, on who it's is like, in that relationship. Yeah, it's like between yourselves, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, even wanting it, it was hard to tap into. I've had my moments where I'm like, ready to kill her or kill the guy, but you know, I would never do that because I love her. It's yeah. my baby. You should ask him that. <laughs> <laughs> if you <laughs> What the fuck is going on, dude? Why is everyone laughing that off? That's scary. That's scary. Like, everyone's just kind of scared. <laughs> Yeah, I've had my moments where I want to fucking kill her. Uh, uh what? <laughs> the next question I asked you all is, are you happy in your relationship? Mm -hmm. Chloe and 
Ren, you both said yes. And you both told a truth. Yeah. See that Yay. first question? Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa and Drew, you both said yes. And it was the truth. <laughs> Let's go, man. Sailing. Let's go. No bumps, no bumps. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, not yet. You got fucking 44 minutes left. Not yet. Jesse, you said. What's going to happen with them? What is going to happen with them? No. And this was the truth that we found. Yep. Why are they in a relationship? I don't understand. What is their relationship? What is their relationship? That's what I, I know they're in one, but what is it? Cassidy, you said. Yes. And it was the truth. Yeah, I mean, I've. I've speak your I, truth. I, I speak my <laughs> sh Yeah, I've told her recently because we live such a crazy life. I feel like we don't engage in just sex with just each other. You know, we're always doing some well, other was that your dream life? I mean, but like I've always, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we. My dream life was always to have a hot wife and, and play around, but be involved. Sometimes I'm not involved, and I feel like I've been forgotten about. So, like, when that feeling goes away... Read my of answers that again on what I said. Am I happy in the relationship? Are you happy in your relationship? What you was said my yes. answer? You said yes, and it was the truth. Exactly. Yeah, I love you. What can Cassidy I, do? Uh, definitely pay more attention to me. I feel like I'm a good-looking man. Uh, she's an amazing-looking woman. I feel like we're fucking hot as fuck. So I think you there shouldn't be a reason we're out, you're out when other men, because all the other men she fucks with are ugly motherfuckers. That that man might think he's he's flexing on me like he's with my girl or something. We do we made a bond no matter what. Yeah. We'll never break up. We love each yeah. other. Thank you all for your honesty. <laughs> the next question. Cot's just like thank. I, he has nothing to say except thank you for your honesty. <laughs> That's the muzzle blanket. Like, okay, moving on. Thank you for your honesty. I have no idea what to say right now. To be honest. So he's jealous because she's fucking other guys, but he's jealous because he thinks those guys aren't as cool as him. And he wants her to fuck cooler guys like him, I guess. Should I ask you all was, have you thought about breaking up with your partner recently? <laughs> Jesse, you said yes. yes. Oh. And we caught the truth. He just said, he said, we're never gonna break up. And then right after that, when you knew that they asked you that question and you said yes? Yes. Cassidy, you said. Um, no. And this was the truth. Wow. Vanessa and Drew, you both said. No. No, I haven't. However, no, you both told the truth. God, you fucker. You fucker, man. Every time you do that, my heart rate spikes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe and Ren, you both said. Yes. We've been through some stuff. <laughs> I guess that's a yes then a little bit. So you thought about breaking up recently. Yeah, like three days ago. Three yeah. days ago. What happened? I already forgot what happened. Oh, okay. <laughs> you forgot why you were going to break up? Um, I don't know. I'm like blacking out. So... Oh. <laughs> oh, you remember now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're starting to get a little toxicity now. Okay. I feel like this this side of the room has been a little bit too wholesome, which has been a nice, you know, juxtaposition against the left side of the room. But let's get it. It's time to get a little toxicity on the right. Let me hear from the right side. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm having fun. We have had some issues i think just with her being able to fully trust me there's um, uh fears of loyalty and also codependency issues we just got engaged fears of loyalty i'm scared that you're too loyal like i want this to feel better than what we're both terrified of right now or at least what i'm terrified of right now yeah i was basically like so you're nice. either in it with me like in it in it or yeah. like leave me give me back the ring and i'll go off why, why did you have doubts whether she was in it in it or not because she told me that she has um a need to gain validation from men and women when i'm not around in a way that like I questioned it, like, if they were to, like, ask you out or tell you they want you or whatever, would it make you feel good when I'm not there? And she said, yeah. And so I just didn't like how that felt. Mm. Yeah, that's deep, deep. 
that's where we're at. The next, okay. But she said two different things there. It was like the need for it. That's a that's a different thing from just feeling good if someone tells you that you're hot or whatever. I think everyone would feel good if that happened. But needing it from other people, that's a whole different thing. So I'm curious as to which one it was. But as I said, we're kind of just breaching the toxic barrier now. This question I asked you all. Do you like your partner's friends and family? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Oh, that, I, I mean, you can tell that from a mile away. Look at her face when she says that. Yeah. 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 No one has ever told the truth like this. Yeah. She looks so scared. <laughs> she knows that it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a thumbs down. She knows. Yeah. Vanessa, this is your first lie about Drew's friends and family. Hmm. I Get with it. I don't know why it's a lie. I like all your friends no, and you family. Don't. You don't. <laughs> Drew, who do you think it is? Yeah, who do you think it is? I think it's uh, Matthew. I like Matthew. No, who is that? Is that a, just my, a That's my best friend. He's best your, best, friend. your yeah. best friend? Yeah, for like the past like eight years. Why do you think she doesn't like him? I think she's jealous of our like really close relationship. No. Vanessa, is that true? <laughs> Not at all. Ask me again later and maybe it will be different. Give me a name next time. Friends and family? I mean, I, yes. <laughs> I love her friends. Um, I love her mom's side of the family. Her dad's side, not so much. I don't like some of her old friends and she's not friends with them anymore and some of her family and I don't get along, so. Yeah, I guess like you're, Go on. you and your mom have like the closest relationship of any, daughter, mother, parent ship that I've ever seen and I love that and I love everyone on your mom's side. I think for us it's pretty self-explanatory why I don't like your dad. You don't like your dad very much either. No. Sorry if this is getting put online. <laughs> <laughs> Will you see this? Um, Maybe, I don't know. Sorry if this is getting put online. What did you think this was? <laughs> By the way, sorry, I don't know what, what these cameras are for or anything, but if you're chucking this up online, then I gotta say, I gotta say sorry, I guess, because your dad's gonna see this. He sees everything. Possibly. I haven't really talked to him my whole life, and the very few times she's met him, he's been like literally just as horrible to her, so. Yeah, mm. so makes sense. The next question I asked you all was, have you ever fantasized about someone else while in bed with your partner? <laughs> I think we knew what they're gonna say. I think we know. I think they'd, they'd answer that yes because they're like, oh, I thought you meant like fantasize about the person that was also in bed with us. Jesse and Cassidy, you both said yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the truth for both of you. <laughs> Drew and- He's just, he's fantasizing about that married chick right now. <laughs> oh, Kathy, sweet Kathy. Sweet, sweet Boca Raton Kathy. Oh. Vanessa, you both said no. And this was true for both of you. Let's no go. I'm not thinking about other people. <laughs> Chloe and Ren, you both said no. Both <laughs> of you lied. The toxicity level is slowly rising. Ooh. What? That uh, hits different for that's me. Juicy. Chloe, that's Chloe, juicy. let's start with you. Why did you lie about this? Um, I've, t I've straight up told her like, like when she was like, would you ever cheat on me or whatever? I was like, I've pictured myself with other people while I'm with you, like to know if it's like, I, cause we've had a really dark moments and like, I've had moments where I'm like, why don't you be with someone else? And she's like, why don't you be with someone else? And at our darkest spots, I have- Fine, I'll think about it then. Fine, I will in my head. Next time we smush. I've been like, is that what I want? Can I see it? And like, do I imagine that my sex life would be better with someone else because like we're working through some stuff there and like in general I've thought about it and I've told her like I'm just very honest about it like I've always but this considered- is, But this is in the bedroom while you're, you both are with each other. Oh, well I think that's why I, I failed, I misread the question. I've never thought I'm about honest. anyone while I'm having sex with you. Yeah, I haven't either. But apparently you have. Apparently you have. <laughs> <laughs> Ren, it seems like you understood the question. I so you have pictured someone, fantasized about someone else while having sex with Chloe? I haven't, no. I, I 
love having sex with you and you only. Like, I get scared about, in, like, any sort of going outside relationship type stuff, so, like, I just... Why do you think our expert polygraph examiner got a lie then? I feel just like with the other thing, it's like a scary question. I, I don't... I mean, I, I said that. You can't yeah. take what I said. Well, <laughs> who is it? There's no one else that I think about. Your jaw's doing that weird thing. Oh! Uh, ah, it's getting toxic. It's getting toxic. They have some issues for sure. Calling her out on the on the tell, there on the. <laughs> your, oh. You have a tell. She knows your tell. Mm, do yeah. you do you think you know who it is? She Maybe doesn't have a famous have... person. Maybe someone you don't actually know. She doesn't have celebrity crushes. I'd, hey, that's what, you told me. that's what you told me. <laughs> I told you some that's of them. I told you some of them. First one. All right. Thank you all for your honesty. Yeah, this is getting. This is starting to get. Ooh. It's crazy how uh, we started this video by being like, oh my God, these people, why are they together? And now we're kind of like, oh, uh. and middle is still pretty wholesome, to be honest. They're like, you know, they're like a good, like good neutral in this whole thing. But the cracks are starting to show over here, I think. The next question I ask you all, do you miss being single? No. No. Uh, no. Jesse and Cassidy, you both told the truth. Chloe and Ren, you both said no, and you were both telling the truth. Vanessa and Drew, you both said no as well. However, Drew lied. <gasps> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Drew, this is your first lie. You miss being single, huh? Uh, I... I don't think so, but maybe I do. What is it about being single that you miss? I think it's because he used to be a whore when he was single. <laughs> he used to be a whore. Still yeah. a whore. <laughs> <laughs> and he would tell me all about it. We were best friends, so I know a lot. You know a lot. Too much. Oh, too much tea. <laughs> Why did you lie about it? Oh, uh, I, I mean, I do enjoy being in a relationship, but you know, there's always like those days where you're like, oh, I wonder what, what I'd be doing if I wasn't in a relationship. You know what I mean? You're like dependent on some. <laughs> You know what I mean? Come on, Cot, please, please say, you know what I mean? Please, some, someone in here, please agree with me, please. He's just digging his own grave right now. There's just, you know, there's certain days where I just think that, like anyone would, by the way. Right, guys? Guys? Right? Buddy, but it's fun to be independent sometimes. You know, you go through your day, like, for yourself. You don't have to worry about anybody. Vanessa, how do you feel finding out that he misses being single? No, I'm not hurt by that at all. I think it's like everyone, like, kind of just wants to like feel different sometimes because like you get like stuck in like a rut and like a routine. So I understand. I'm more of like a, like I'm, I value my like alone time. So maybe that so. could be from that. So it's nothing against Vanessa. The next oh, Okay. Oh, this seems like they understand each other. Okay. The wholesomeness continues. Question I asked you all was, does your partner need to lose weight or exercise more? Every single one of you, this is unheard of. Every single one of you said no. <laughs> and every single one of you told the truth. I think this is the first time we're all honest. You didn't say, you didn't say yes? Really? Right. Oh my goodness. I was like, <laughs> Can you flex for us a little bit? Are you serious, bro? Yeah. The lighting is really <laughs> good. Right Are you serious, bro? His fucking name is Jacked by Jess. I don't that rock no so shirt because I'm a cocky b****. It's just my style. Are they just constraining you? I mean, I don't know, man. Just, you want me they, to uh, flex oh. my shit? Like, Ooh. mother <laughs> <laughs> the sound guy went. Ah! <laughs> the sound guy's over there with headphones on. Ah! Ah! He was eating a little salad on his little sound console station. Fucking, ah! fucking went everywhere. Egg salad everywhere. Holy fucking shit! What the? Jesse just slammed right on the mic. Oh my god, that's funny. Poor sound guy. Right? The question. Honestly, I wish I wasn't a woman because I want to do that. <laughs> like, want to do that. Yeah, just like hanging out. <laughs> For this next question, only one person actually told the truth. Five of you lied. This was the question. Are you hiding anything from your partner? Uh, no, I am not. No. No. 
No. Mm mm. No. Who thinks they told the truth? You th I, Drew, you think I told, you told the truth? The truth. I, I, I think I did. Mm. I can't I'm like open. I answered. Who thinks they lied? Ra raise your hand. Who thinks they lied? Who knows they lied? Oh my God! Did you see that look she just gave her? I, Five of you I did. I don't feel like I lied. <laughs> wow. Okay. The only person who told the truth was Drew. <gasps> Drew, you were wow. right. I never tell a lie that my whole life. Never told a lie. Respect it, dog. I respect it. Well, you did tell one today. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Cot does not. Let anything slide, bro. You should know that. It's crazy that that's Drew's only lie in his entire life. That's crazy. <laughs> no, that you have edit it, edit, cut it out, lie. cut it out. Vanessa, this was one of your few lies today. What are you hiding from your partner? Yeah, let's talk about that. I don't know what I'm hiding. I mean, maybe it's some something that like, just like something minute and nothing like even meaningful. And well, like I just need must to have been you. meaningful if it like sets something off. What could it be? I honestly have no clue yet. Probably about the college stuff. No, right. Probably the about college that. Stuff. What is Chloe and Ren, you both, you both lied. <laughs> you both lied. <laughs> Damn. What are you hiding, Chloe? I don't think I'm hiding anything, but our relationship's been so like quaky recently, like real quaky that like we haven't even talked for a couple days. So I think I just feel like, if anything, I mean like. I guess it would be how serious I mean it when, like, I say, like, I'll leave her if she doesn't, like, start respecting, like, our relationship. Like, I, I've told her a lot, but I still haven't really registered that, like, within her reaction that she really believes that I'll leave. And I will if we can't heal something here. Ren, do you, do you hear her now? Yeah, I mean, I've heard you. I've heard you, like I know that you will. I know that like when you're done, you're done. I don't think you actually believe that though. Oh God damn, you are engaged? Whew. I don't know if, you know. I know everybody has their issues, but it seems like they got some stuff to work out before they get to the engagement part, but oh, I don't know. I don't want to. Yeah, and it shows. <laughs> I don't want Wait, to. what'd you lie about? What were you hiding? What was your secret? I feel like um, I, I'm i not hiding anything in specific, so it's frustrating, but I do feel like it's hard for me to talk about my feelings sometimes and have them like be heard in the way that I feel them, even though I know you try your why, absolute why is that? hardest. Because I feel like, I don't know, I don't feel- It definitely seems like when they speak, they like are trying to tiptoe. I, I definitely do like that about the couple on the left. <laughs> They're just kind of like, yeah, I just fucking, this is, it is how it is, you know? The guy, he's like, yeah, I'm a fucking crazy lifestyle. You know, it is what it is. And they're more like trying to keep up the facade that the relationship is really strong. And like, sort of like by saying the truth in like a, in this sort of way, you know? I don't know what I'm saying. This shit is getting too sultry. I feel like my feelings make sense. This is part of our problems right now. Or she doesn't tell me anything. You don't tell her anything. You don't. No. You don't talk to her about deep things. Um. I mean, we do. We it's do the talk things about that like really things, matter. But that yeah, she I think it's out. the things that I have a harder time, like communicating yeah. about. Jesse, Cassidy, you both lied as well. Cassidy, let's start with you. What are you hiding from Jesse? It's not even as a sexual aspect mm -hmm. to it. It could just be so many different things that I'm not necessarily lying about, but withholding. I feel like I've. I feel like she'll t not tell me something to protect me. Yes. Because if I hear the wrong thing, I might snap. I might. I might cry. I might be in the corner. I mean, same thing with her. Like I've not told her things to protect That's her. It's a lot of protecting. Give us one example of something that you withheld to tell Cassidy to protect her, even if she knows now. So before her transition, she was somebody else. I saw this website one time of like who you were before that. And I know you would never show me the pictures of you before that, but I've, I've actually like, I've actually like erased it out of my mind. I don't even remember what it looked like because I know how much it would have hurt you if you knew what I knew you looked like. So that's something I didn't want to tell you because I still want to ruin that, but like I truly have forgotten mm -hmm. those images that were on Google, you know. That's mm -hmm. truthful, that's some real shit. All right, everybody, we're gonna tally up the score. 
and we're gonna find out how much each of you lied. Jesse, you lied a total of two times. Cassidy, you lied a total of three times. Vanessa, you lied a total of two times as well. Drew, only lied once. Yes. Just the one. Just, Just the once ever, dude. That's in your whole life, bro. Count it. He's like, only lie. One. Everybody gets one. <laughs> Chloe, you lied a total of four times. Damn. Almost 50%. Ren, you lied a total of three times. There's Chloe, the you are the There's person the... who lied here the most. We're now gonna set each of you head to head in the hot seat to interrogate your partner. Are you all ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess yeah. so. Oh, now they have to ask each other questions? Oh my good lord. How could this get any more sultry? You know, I think honestly, like I feel like they're the only couple that would look at the brief for this show and be like, yeah, I'm confident this is not gonna break us up. You know what I'm saying? Like if I was them, I would be I would not do this show. They just seem very honest, you know? I want to capture your breathing. Do you like doing this? Oh, yeah. I bet it's fun. Are you fun. kidding Have me? you ever been on the other end of it? Uh, yes, with the sheriff department. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready to start the test? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Have you ever eaten at McDonald's? Yes. Do you have any regrets about it? It's like... <laughs> Lies about that. Why would you lie about that? Dating me? Absolutely not. No. Okay, good answer. Mm. Have I ever given you the ick to where you didn't see me the same long term? No. That's a yes. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. What it's are you true. questioning? <laughs> I didn't. You said it's a yes. It's true. Like I'm not lying. Like you're not lying. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Are you happy with how I perform in the bedroom? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> have you ever ignored my texts or calls on purpose? Uh, yes, I have. Why were you ignoring me? Because I, li I like my alone time. Like, I like you, <laughs> but, but you know, I like to do my own thing. Okay, that's valid, yeah. I understand. Don't let it happen again, though. <laughs> If you had the opportunity to leave me and start over in LA, would you do it? No. Hmm. Seems like the polygraph had a different answer. No, yeah, what the fuck do you think? I think- What the fuck? That's not the answer to that? What the fuck do you think? Yeah, what the fuck do you think my real answer was then, huh? Of course it was a lie. <laughs> then why did you? Dude's just lying to see if he gets away with it. Also, I like Drew when he answered the text question. He was like, yes, I have ignored your text. Because guess what? Drew don't lie, all right? One thing Drew doesn't do, it's lie. If an opportunity presented itself, maybe you would take it, maybe you wouldn't. Well, this is where I'm gonna put a twin, a, sp a little spin on your question. Okay. I would leave you to do what I gotta do, but understand I would come back with a big fucking bag. And that okay. would be the reason that I would leave you. Not for a woman, not for love, not for sex. It would be to share the wealth with you. Because it takes a lot to be with a woman like me. Absolutely. And I think I'm the only man that was made to be with you. And I'll do whatever I gotta do to make sure that you get to live that one life that you dreamed of. So at any cost, I'll do whatever I gotta do, but I would come back. <laughs> I guess that's... Is that cute or not? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I know my people are sick of the mic. Me slamming on the table, I get it, but... That was like... Like, I'm so confused by that. Is that supposed to be cute? <laughs> it's like, of course I would cheat on you. So that I could come back. Don't you understand? It's so that I would come back and we'd both be rich. Of course I would leave you. For you, babe. I believe you. Do you feel held back by the fact that I have a lower sex drive than you? Held back sexually, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was the truth. I think that. I, I just want to have sex out. more. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I I agree with that. There's a beast, and I'm trying to uncage. It. Oh my <laughs> god. 
How long would it take you to move on if we split up? Probably like, before I go like mess around, probably like six months. Mm -hmm. That's accurate. I can see that. How does that make you feel? I think in my head, I thought that like the messing around idea of it would be sooner because I know that like you would want to fill the empty space with other people in a I mean, way. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think for you to actually like emotionally move on and love and be with another person. Six months sounds a little short to me, but I don't think that's what you meant by that either, so. No, I would never forget you, ever. Yeah. Do you ever regret dating me and wish we just stayed friends? No, I'm glad we're dating. Uh, probably should have waited for the answer. That's a lie. That's a lie? Um, I'm sorry. My whole like fabric of what I thought I knew is unraveling right in front of my eyes. I, you're, I thought you didn't lie, dude. What the hell is going on? She's lying. <laughs> no, I, I, no, I don't regret. She's lying. She did not find that funny at all. And I will beat the fuck out of you if you say that again, Drew. Getting you. Do you think that we should have just stayed friends in college and stuff in our carpool? Should have just been like as friends? No, and... I'm glad. I like. I have a lot of fun with you. You're like my best friend. So, I think that's like the truth. Do you think you're alpha? No. No, I do not think I am. That's a lie. That's a <laughs> lie. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. No, it's not. I do not think I'm alpha. Fuck that. That's some cringe shit. I bet the guy who had no shirt in here earlier thought he was alpha though. Not me. Do you think you're <laughs> Not. I'm a sigma. I'm a sigma. March to the beat of my own drum. He does think he's an alpha, you can tell. I feel like that's something that someone who thinks of themselves as an alpha would do is diss the guy with the shirt off, right? By the way, I'm not shading Drew at all. I just feel like maybe that was a lie. I think Drew has a higher opinion of himself than he thinks, or I don't know if higher is, higher is the right word. Depends on what you think in an alpha male, you know? Egotistical? Uh, yeah. And narcissistic? Yes. You don't. That's a lie? Yeah. Well, maybe I am a good person. <laughs> <laughs> you just think you're alpha. I guess I'm just alpha. That's fucking bullshit. I'm not an alpha! <laughs> It's fucking bullshit, I'm not an alpha, I'm a little beta. Oh, man, I'm so pissed that this machine called me an alpha. I'm not an alpha, I'm a little beta bitch. I'm fucking pissed, though I'm not. Do you have any- Do not clip that, by the way. I'm not an alpha, I'm a little beta bitch. Resentments towards me. Yes. What resentment do you have towards me? Mm, remember the day that I let you I let you go out for a night and I gave you a pass. I said you could mm. do whatever you want tonight. You could have fun. You could fuck whoever you want. So do whatever there's you want. the answer in your question. You gave me a pass. Yes, but you were but. supposed to come home and make it hot for me. But yeah. instead, you ended up passing out in somebody's bed. <laughs> so I put the and pass and passing out. Yeah, so I wound up waking up to an empty bed and I thought maybe for a second, maybe she's dead. I got that as an in relationship. So I thought, you know, that was a little fucked up on your end. Yeah. But you're a crazy f lady. And, you know, that that's who I date and that's what it is. So yeah. I'd rather deal with your sh than anyone else's sh So that's what it is. As a man, do you think there's somebody out there that could give me a better life than you have? Yes. Do you have anybody in mind or just somebody in general? No, it's no one in mind. It's just a simple fact that you've entered my life when I was going through a rough drug addiction, <laughs> uh, you know, and it took a lot out of both of us. Um, yeah. You know, it stripped me from everything that I have to offer as a, as a man and a human being. And you just had to watch me deteriorate myself. And I just know that the type of person I am, I'm always gonna be a little hard to deal with. I'm a complicated person. Yes. And I know there's probably a man out there who's calm, zen, a lot of money, big cars, big house, 
But you know what? I think that you respect a man watching me try to get it rather than be with a man who has it already. Absolutely. <laughs> Damn, dude, they are so chaotic, but like, it's it works. It works. They just totally get each other, it seems. The sacrifices you've made for our relationship. Yes. And what would those be? I was lonely for a long time, and I'm not happy in Portland. Mm -hmm. And I want to be living with you alone. Mm -hmm. So, also sometimes forgiving you when I shouldn't have. Do you feel safe with me? Yes. Hmm. I feel safe looking at you right now. I mean, in, in the scheme of things, probably not. I don't feel safe overall. Mm -hmm. I'm actually very unsafe. I should have answered different. <laughs> Where does the unsafety lie? I mean, I look at you and I'm safe. Mm -hmm. And I'm with you and I'm safe. But when it comes to loving you, I'm not. It's very hard to trust you. There are some seriously deep-rooted trust issues here. And know your intentions. Yeah. <sighs> Do you feel like you can tell me anything? Yes. <clears throat> I feel like I tell you everything. I feel like you told me everything too. I feel like I would tell you anything. I, mm -hmm. I think my fear comes from like what you would obtain from what I'm telling you. And what Like way? if you would listen mm -hmm. and like understand me and like see me and yeah. think I... about me and care about me like that. Yeah. I feel like that is kind of a pattern. Yeah, That's I think the, the lies, I want to be seen yeah. to tell you anything, not can I tell you anything. Yeah. Have you considered breaking up with me if I don't go to the same college as you? Uh, no. I haven't considered. You said that's true. Yeah. Yeah, my boy Drew does not lie, all right? I'm glad. Yeah. Because that was one of the biggest things I was worried about. Like, I know, you not weren't worried about it. Last night, you were like, is it, is it going to happen? We yeah, because I, I like, don't want to go. It's going to be hard, but like, I'm willing to like, try. Okay. So like, I'm not like... I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad. Mm -hmm. Do you think you'll still stay faithful to me while you go to college and I'm at a different school? Yeah, I'll, I'll stay faithful. You said it's true. Yeah. I don't believe in cheating. That's like <laughs> some weird sh I don't know. Do you think that we have a future together? Uh, yeah. Yes. You said yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad. Because I'm banking on it. You're banking on mm -hmm. it? That's good. I have all my eggs in one basket right yeah. now. So yeah. <laughs> hopefully it works out. Do you <laughs> 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 hopefully it works out for you. Yeah, hopefully I work out. I mean, hopefully I don't fuck you over, I guess, then, right? It you love me? Yeah. Yes, I do. Oh, it's a truth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Cool. Pleasure. <laughs> I don't think I have any other questions. I think I kind of put my whole pussy into these. Mm -hmm. you know? Sorry. <laughs> mm -mm. His laugh, just right there. I kind of put my whole pussy into these. Mm -hmm. you know? All right, now we're switching, I guess. Jesus, this is a lot. Sorry, it's cold, I know. That's okay. It seems like it's pretty heavy for all the people, dude. They're coming out of here and they're like, like shell shock. <laughs> like, that's what I feel like right now. I'm fucking, that's me. I got nothing left, man. I'm, I like that you can still see the marks of when I ran like a lizard <laughs> in the lifestyle video. Just haven't touched that area of the rug yet, I guess. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Is that okay, Nick? Yeah. Tonight, right? Yeah, that's good. Are you ready to start the test? Yes. Okay. Have you ever told <laughs> another man that you love him while being with me? No. Thank fucking God. I'm invested now in their relationship. I don't get it. Their lifestyle, 
but I'm invested in it. Get there, because I literally have a garbage pile of stuff you in if you're lying. <laughs> have you ever stolen from me? No. What's there to steal? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Oh, you f***ed up. You lied. What'd you steal from me? Tell me. I'm just trying to think. Some money? Nice. No, Mom because... Because she makes the money. Mom yeah. makes the money. You know? I think I've taken your truck without asking you. Okay. She pays my truck payment. <laughs> 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 it's, it's her truck. It really, it's le like legally, it's hers. <laughs> it's all good. I can admit that. Okay. Do you have any fears about commitment? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I can't deal with this. I can't deal with this. I don't want this conversation right now they might love each other but man it just seems like they got a lot to work out what do you fear about commitment i think my fear of commitment is more so that it's not gonna work out like it was planned to it's um i'm scared of putting all the effort in to not have it work out in the end do you think you've fully moved past your addiction? Yes. A little iffy, but you got it. <laughs> I mean, you can't, it's hard to f move fully past an addiction. If it's in a real, if it's a real addiction, that's, I don't think you really ever get over that completely. Do you think you get enough time alone? No. I see that. <laughs> Would you still date me if I was exactly the same, but I was shorter? Probably. Okay, probably. You can't say probably in a lie detector test. What the fuck is that? You can do that? Did anyone else know that? <laughs> Everyone that's ever taken a polygraph ever is like, what? I didn't know you could just say like middle of the road answers like that. I thought this was a binary thing. You can say maybe? I uh, may, there's a chance. He's telling the truth. There is a chance. Not a yes or a no? I mean, just probably. Just probably? Yeah. Yeah. What if I was shorter than you? Shorter than me? I'm gonna have to say no. No? So everything's the same, but I'm shorter and you're like, you ditch him? I don't know. I don't know if I would date you if like I have to bend down to- Yeah, dude, put her on the hot spot. For all the short kings out there. Kiss you? No. No way. No way, Jose. Damn, that's f***ed up. <laughs> the cop was like, I get it. I get it. <laughs> okay. Do you ever purposely ignore my calls? Yes. Why is that? Why do you ignore them? Hmm. Oh, because I'm mad at you and I don't want to answer you right away. Or I don't want to seem too desperate. Because sometimes I see it and I swipe it away because I'm like, I got to let it simmer. Yeah, you can't be like too quick on it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sometimes, sometimes. But like other times I'm like, oh my gosh, yay, it's Drew. But like when you took too long, I'm like, I got to take his song. Oh, really? Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm kind of petty. Yeah. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you look at me like I'm truly a straight male? Yes. You guys heard it. The internet heard it. Everyone heard it. Yes, I'm straight. Uh -huh. And I date a trans girl. Fuckers. Where? Mm, I don't see one. <laughs> Are you still into me sexually? Yes. Okay. Wow. All right. That makes me feel better. Now we get back now to Now that I'm hooked up to a lie detector test. Now we get to the old time. I'm going to throw you against the window. Love it. Do you want to add another boyfriend to our relationship? Yes. Okay, I knew it. That's cool. And I'll Who let you wouldn't want to be spoiled by two men? Yeah, and I'll let you have that. Jesse, how does that make you feel knowing that she wants to add another boyfriend to the relationship? Oh, man. I mean, personally, bro, <laughs> it's something that my sick mind wants. You know what I mean? I want her to have another man so we could both, like, you know, spoil her, give her the best life. But it's got to be with a man who's going to take it serious because if I'm letting you into this beautiful girl's life and my life, if you f*** around, I'm going to cut your fingers off. It needs, you need to really be respectful. <laughs> he's, like, he's like scared as fuck. Look at how hard he's gripping his hands. Yeah, I get it. 
Mm -hmm. We'll respect the whole situation. If you're gonna come date her, you're dating both of us. We're both gonna treat her amazing, spoil her, and both give her sexual desires, whether it's together or separate. But personally, it doesn't hurt me because I'm so confident that I know she always love me more, where I'm not worried about it. Do you have any unresolved emotions from your- It's so chaotic, dude. <laughs> so chaotic. Past relationships. I definitely think so, internally, yeah. I don't. I'm sorry, but I just really wanna just like, just, you know what I'm saying? Just for, pe for my peace of mind. Like, I just feel like, how are you not blinking constantly? Just take, just like there. That's it, just right here. I just feel like it's annoying for you, is it not? Is that just the most dad shit of all time for me to say, hey, get your hair out of your eyes, what are you doing? It's just visually, it's just, you know? Feel like I have been able to get past um, hurting people and people hurting me. And I feel like I brought a lot of the baggage from that into our relationship. And that's something I regret a lot. Have you ever questioned if I- I know I'm texting on the job, all right? Sue me. I've been unloyal. Apparently from earlier, yes, but I personally, um, I guess I have in those moments that, you know, I was worried about who you were talking to. I was worried about unloyalty there. <laughs> did you cheat on me when you went to Italy? No, I did not cheat on you. Okay, wait, before you answer, Drew, do you think she's telling the truth? I think, I think she is. What do you think it is? Huh? True. Do you believe yourself? Because I didn't cheat on you. You didn't? No. Okay, whatever, you got right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What is that double interrogation? You can't interrogate her after she just is being like interrogated. What do you think? Do you believe yourself? Do you think you're lying about your own answer to that question or what? Do you even believe the answer that just came out of your mouth or are you lying about that too? What? What is happening? You start answering maybe to questions and all of a sudden everything's up in the air. Nothing makes sense. <laughs> hey, good job, Vanessa. You're faithful. Or a good liar. Okay. okay. I'm just <laughs> Vanessa, do you think I will cheat on you when we go to college? I hate to say it, but I feel like you would, but I don't want it to be true. Why do you think I will? I don't know. I just like, it's just like a, like a fear of mine, I guess. Like you might find somebody better because I'm not around anymore. And like, you're not constantly with me or hanging out with me. Have I shown like any signs of like, no, you're, re that? you're a really good boy. I'm a good what boy? I found out today. Oh, yeah, exactly. You haven't shown me like that you've like done anything like weird and like texted anyone or done anything like behind my back. So I'm gonna say no. I, and guess what? My boy does not lie. I actually don't have the fear if you're gonna cheat on me. Okay. That's the truth. Too big. I got, I got one question for you. I don't want the truth because you got a lot of different dicks. Is my dick big enough for you? Yeah. Jesse's not gonna like that. You can kind of hear it too when she was like, "Yeah." Liar. <laughs> but you say, you can't, but, you, "But when we actually, go to, when we actually go to, fuck, you really can't take it." Yeah. So what's that about? Because I, I think... ain't gonna get up here if you, my dick ain't good enough for you. Yeah. Well, I think there's different. Because you might things... not be good enough for my dick. Right. I think there's different things that please us both the way we want, mm -hmm. and sometimes, yeah, you are big, and sometimes, I don't know. I think we all fantasize about different things. Okay. I would truly give my heart for you personally. I really would. If you had to live another day, the doctor needed my heart, I'd fucking sign the papers. Would you truly give your life to be with, to save mine? Yeah. It's understandable why it's a lie, because you're scared of death and that's okay. But understand, I would see what death is like first for us. Absolutely. Aww. <laughs> It's the most confusing, cute thing in the world. I'm gonna see what death is like first for us. That's so insanely romantic. Yeah. I love you and that's what it is. And we have a solid relationship like ours. I feel like I gotta be the one to step up first anyway.
So, so good. Because you're the man of the relationship. Mother man. I know for sure I got one of the most solid women on the planet right here because this girl had to sit here and fight to be able to be considered a woman in this world harder than anybody I know. And I know that I probably got one of the most rarest women in the world. And I'm proud of that. She's unique. She's a little MVP. And uh, that's my baby girl. And I'll die for her. Vanessa, are you? Damn, dude, they, that's like, they're yeah, they're cute. It's crazy the switch from the beginning of the video. He's like, I've slept with over a thousand women. They're cheating on each other. You're like, what? They're not, mate. They're not in a relationship, are they? And then by the end, you're like, he would die for her? Jesus Christ. I hope they get married. Satisfied with my penis size? Yes, I am satisfied. The answer is yes. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. No more questions. Oh my God. Okay, <laughs> Is there anything else you want to ask? No, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Has there ever been a time that you had eyes for someone else? No. Oh, God, 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 please. It's going to be false. You lied. Mm. <laughs> please tell me more. There hasn't been anyone specifically, but I... This is your moment. I think, just like we've... <laughs> I can't take it, I can't. Just say you don't want to be in the relationship, right? I don't know. This girl seems like she has trust issues, but she doesn't really seem that into it. And maybe that's just a, a you know, a judgment, a surface level judgment, even though we've watched 45 minutes of them being completely honest with each other. So maybe it's not surface level, but that is a judgment. I get it. I don't know them in person, but. Talked about and just like with times that have been iffy in our relationship, I feel like I have like held back needs that I've needed from you and eyes for someone else. Who? And I don't have anyone in specific. Hmm. Okay. The softness by which they speak is like, the ASMR-ness of it makes it harder to watch, does it not? For me, it's like, just say it with your chest. When you picture being old, am I with you? Yes. You lied. I really do see us together in old age. Like, I really do. Um, I feel like I'm scared that it might not happen. You can replace a lot of things with fear, as you do. Okay, we can move on. Do you have any... <laughs> I mean, I think on one hand, this show is like kind of destroying their relationship. On the other hand, it might be a good thing. Major secrets that you haven't shared with me yet. You have to answer. <clears throat> no. You definitely lied. Mm. <laughs> I'll be honest, I feel like Everything that we've been having conversations over the past, like, few days, weeks, months, like, I genuinely don't feel like I... Trust issues ASMR, that's what this is. <laughs> this isn't it? Toxic relationship ASMR. Know myself and have, like, revealed a lot of parts of myself to you that I'm, like, scared to face. Okay. I've heard enough. <laughs> All right, guys. You guys are okay. Thank cool. you. Thank you. Everyone in the studio is like, oh, thank fucking God. Please let it end. You guys. Hold on. I feel bad even giving commentary on this because it's like a real relationship. <coughs> <sighs> No, what conversation? I'm not gonna show it. And it's exactly what I'm fearing. 
and you have a secret and you have eyes for some laughs. So what is it? I don't right now, but I think I definitely have I think I definitely have felt ways about people that I know I shouldn't have felt. I don't want to. I don't want to try to explain it right now. I'm not finishing it. I have to take this off. I don't know how this works. I hope they asked him if they could post this. <laughs> this is like, why do I feel like this feels like dirty watching this? Like, why are we listening in on this private conversation? So you might notice the empty. And then they dipped. Oh my God. The space on our stage right now. Unfortunately, I have to announce that Chloe and Ren decided to leave early, but we value their contribution their honesty and their authenticity. However, the show must go on. So now let's find out who was the biggest liar and who was the most honest person. Are you all ready? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. The biggest liar. I like that he put a shirt on for the end of the video. <laughs> it's like, no, nah, you know, I gotta stay classy for the outro, you know? Put on my formal wear here for the outro. is not here right now, but it was Chloe. Eight lives. Damn. Damn. The runner up who is here. Oh. Is Cassie. With six <clears throat> lives. Lying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm about to reveal the most honest person here. Who thinks it's them? I think it's me. You think it's you? I think it's me. You think it's you? Jesse, do you think it's you? Yeah. Okay, so you all think it's you. Here we go. The most honest person here is Vanessa. With sorry, Drew. Only wow. I told three you. lies. Thank you. Thank you. Vanessa, what does it feel like being the most honest person in this room? Uh, I think it feels pretty good to know that I know myself enough to be able to tell the truth and to be able to tell the truth to him. I think I'm the real winner here today. No. My girlfriend is the most honest, so I have nothing to worry about. So I'm glad it turned out this way. <laughs> we might be getting separated on that. <laughs> <laughs> I might be burying her tonight. Or possibly. No, we need that lie detector test. I never do that, sir. We lie about the fun things. Hmm. You want to know how many times did? No, we just joke around like that sometimes. Yes. You lied? Okay. All right. Drag them. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Jesse. Andrew, you lied the same amount of times. Okay. Oh, wow. You both lied five times. Five times? Now, five Drew, times. what's interesting, you started as the most honest when I asked you the questions, but then in the hot seat, the lies just kept coming out. Yeah, I mean, Vanessa makes me nervous. She's so pretty, you know? Mm. She gets my heart going, so maybe that was it. I'll take that answer. <laughs> I don't want to have a lying boyfriend, but. All right, dude, a little bit too, I don't know, you know, that was a little bit, a little bit too suave there. I just can't help it, you know? My, my girlfriend's so damn honest, she's so beautiful too. Just like makes my heart go crazy. So I'm, I could be throwing the polygraph off, you know, just by how in love I am. I'll let acceptable. it slide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think this experience was like super cool and I'd recommend it to anyone who is in a relationship. I really think it made me and Drew stronger. In every relationship. I would not recommend this to anyone in a relationship. I'm sorry, but most people's relationship would survive this. I don't know, would they? There's always like those like questions like, I hope she thinks this or I hope like everything's good. And it's fun just get it all out in the air. And for us, like it worked out. Drew found out something very interesting during the hot seat. He said he wasn't alpha, but then we caught that as a lie. But you said something interesting. You said, oh no, no, I'm not alpha. Not like the guy without like the Jesse. shirt. <laughs> Jesse. Jesse's alpha. With the muscles. Yeah, dude. I want to be like him when I grow up. Jesse. If you're being serious, I respect it. Yeah. If you're being serious, I would respect it, but. Are you alpha? Uh, um, there's only one of me, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't take the, the, the title alpha. 
because that falls into a lot of like, wow, we went viral. I'm just me. There's not another man like me. And I know I'm the best man to be with this lady. And I know I'm the best man to be put in this body, bro. And I was gifted with a voice to be able to talk and be a leader and help people. Um, that's what I do. So I just feel that I'm, I'm just more than an alpha. I'm just you're beyond simply alpha. I'm a sigma, a living truth. He's Jesse. That's <laughs> straight up. He's yeah. Jesse. I feel like you know Drew's kind of fucking with this guy, but I, I will say this guy's pretty fucking real. <laughs> But, you know, besides, like, the domestic violence jokes he's been making about, like, killing his partner, um, you know, he kind of does seem pretty fucking unique and pretty fucking himself, to be honest. Saying you're better than an alpha is pretty funny, or more than an alpha, or whatever he said. I don't know, is there a level above alpha? Because, if so, I'm the only one there. Hey, like, that's it. I don't try to be cool or funny or cocky. I'm just me, bro. I'm sweet, I'm crazy, I'm mad, I'm angry, I'm a little of everything. Yeah. So, tough guy, soft guy. Jesse. What's up? Is, is Drew alpha? I think I think it takes a lot. I'll be real with you, bro. It takes a lot to really. I don't know how fucking accurate this lady's lie detector is. Wherever the fuck she went, <laughs> but I mean, it takes a lot, bro, to be honest. And that's part of my story. Is like I really live an honest truth. I don't hide it from the world. And a lot of people knock me for that for being so open and honest. So I think that you should actually embrace that. Like you actually are able to have the heart to not lie to just the one that's closest to you. Because a lot of people fuck up the person closest to them. Be soft for your girl. You don't got to be an alpha and be tough. It's all bullshit. Yeah, dude. <laughs> See, that was a nice message. That was a nice message. Drew didn't stand on business at the end. I want to be like you when I grow up. Can't trust a guy like him. See, that's true. Hi, guys. <laughs> it's Chloe and Ren. Yeah. We had left the episode, I'm sure. Just, I don't, I, I get... <laughs> Is it not annoying? You had noticed trust had been an issue. I think we talked about in the episode for a while in our relationship and we broke up that night. Yep. And uh, came back together the next day and I admitted to some things that I'm not proud of, emotionally cheating. I, for the first time, really got like the honesty that I needed from her. Yeah. No matter what, through everything, I just respect her a million times more for being honest because of this mm -hmm. opportunity we got. And we've been working and growing since then continuously on an honest relationship yeah. as the priority. So we're yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, well, I'm, I'm glad they seem a little better, I guess. Maybe this was needed in their relationship, but... Oh, weird. Weird as fuck. I'm scrolling through the comments. I actually cannot wait for Cody Co to react to this. Can't wait for the editor making him small while he acts all jacked mocking the shirtless dude. Well, guess what? Joke's on you because that didn't actually happen. <laughs> Joke's on you, baby. Bye. <laughs>